Alright lads, here we go with today's video. Today we've got something very, very special for you guys. It's been a while since he's been on the channel. We are going up against TKE, my man. In case you guys don't know, I have done videos in the past with TKE. I have done rebuild challenges against him. Uh, probably you'd see them popping up right about there or there or somewhere. Uh, but I have done one in the past. If you, if you want to have a look at them, uh, feel free to, you know go have a look. Today, we're going up against TKE. We're doing a 90 overall challenge. Whoever gets the most 90 overalls from a fantasy draft, so, so we get a random team from a fantasy draft, uh, gets, uh, you know, wins. That's, that's the basic gist. So if you can get uh, 10 and the other person gets 9, uh, we'd be winning if we can do that. So uh, goal of the video, try and get as many 90 overalls as we can. His video should go up at the same time as this, so after this video, go check, check his video out as well. Let's show him some love. If you are new around here, be sure to go down there, subscribe. That'll be absolutely amazing. We're trying to hit 3,000 subscribers before the end of the year. I don't know if we can do it. We've got like two and a half weeks until the end of the year, and uh, we still need to get 140 subs. So if you are new, please sure, be sure to go down there, subscribe. Uh, that'll be absolutely amazing. Also, if you've done that, like the video, it helps us out a whole bunch. So we need to get ourselves a random team. I'm not sure how TKA is going to be doing. I'm sure. I'm assuming it's going to be the exact same as here. We get the New Orleans Pelicans. Normally they get a good pick, and uh, watch us not get a good pick this time. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, has, has Zion gone yet? No, he hasn't. Huh. Either way, it has to be randomly drafted anyway. We get the, what, 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 I've already forgotten what pick. 15, like, it's not that bad, middle of the pack. Like, Zion's still here. I'm hoping we could pick up Zion Williamson. I wouldn't mind Ben Simmons either. A Bam, a Bio, I wouldn't mind. So there's a couple players here that I wouldn't mind getting. Uh, that will help us out a lot. Uh, I, would ho I hope we get some young guys as well uh, that can develop for us, but we need to get ourselves a random team here. We actually do end up with Zion Williamson and Lamella. Ooh, okay, so we've got 290 overalls there. Uh, anyone else that's probably going to develop for us? No. But we got two guaranteed 90s in Zion and Lamello. Zion, I'm probably going to send down to the G League this first season because I'm going to try and draft someone very, very good. Lamello as well, we'll probably send down to the G League because we want to see him progress as much as possible, try and get him to be a 90 overall as well. So Lamello will move down to the G League. Any other, Anyone else that I kind of want to do that with? Not really. Matisse is nice, and or oh, uh, I'm probably going to be trading those two guys, Mitchell Robinson and Vucevic. I think Mitch could possibly make a 90, but uh, I don't. I don't want to do that. I want to play it more safe. Devin Booker, I know, definitely does hit a 90, and I know Pazingas definitely hits a 90 as well. We might also go Tyler Hero. Actually, can we do that without giving up Vuce, Big Vooch? If we can do get Tyler Hero without giving up Vooch, I will do it. Uh, but that is a no. Sure, we can get, we can still get Devin Booker. Yeah, you know what? We'll get Devin Booker. He's a guaranteed 90 overall for us. We've got D Book. Um, who else can we? Can we go Vooch and Trey Jones? Can we get Tyler Hero here? Because I mean, I would send him down to the G League, and he could be someone that we could definitely use. By the way, we've got three seasons to do this. We got three regular seasons and two off seasons to do this. I forgot to mention that mention that in the beginning of the video. Ben Simmons. I definitely know that he's going to be hitting a 90 overall in this video. He already is a 90 overall. So can we somehow make a trade for Ben Simmons' work? I don't know if we can. I'm going to try. I'll probably have to give up quite a few. We got three stars on that first round pick. Bro. If we give up this 2025 first from the Bucks as well with a second. No, we're going to have to give up another first round pick, are we? Didn't really want to do that. I'll give you that swap best. Oh, really? Huh. Okay, okay, okay. So if I go Vooch and Len, we could get ourselves like a Jamal Murray and Mitchell Robinson. That could probably work to get Simmons. Not going to lie here. I think that... Oh, Valanchunas and Jalen Brown. I think that could kind of work us out to get Ben Simmons as well. Will this go through? I was hoping that just went straight through. Three-star first-round pick there. If I just chuck in like three seconds... I was, I'm hoping this goes through, no, I don't, because I'm trying to hold on to as many first round picks as we can, I kind of should go after, like, maybe I should hold on to our first round pick this season, maybe I should just play it safe and get Chris Stapp's Pazingas, because I do know that he's going to be doing alright at the, at, if we move to the powerful, he's already a 90 overall, we're fine there, uh, but we do have Zion, 
And Zion could be moved to the small forward. His overall does go up there. So then Bogdanovich plus Tease could get us maybe Lamarcus Aldridge, who is definitely someone that we can use in a trade to get ourselves another player. If we could give up Zach Collins here, could we get... May oh, there's Tyler Hero. He's going to progress for us. Can we send him down to the G League somehow? That would be great if we could. Actually, then, because I know Zion's definitely going to be hitting a 90. So if we just don't send Zion down to the G League, we've got uh, Tyler Hero. So Tyler Hero and Lamelo will be down in the G League for this probably this first season. We've got Pazinga, Zion, and Booker. There's four. That's 590 overalls we've got on our team. We've got 590 overalls currently, like guaranteed. Um, so if we can go like DeAndre Jordan and. Ah, oh, we got literally no more value. I mean, we do have that first round pick, don't we? Did we get rid of it? No, we've still got that Pelicans first, which I don't think is going to be as valuable because we're actually going to be winning games because, you know, you know, we got Zion Williamson and fucking Devin Booker. Uh, because So if we go and get ourselves a Jonas Valanciunas back, no, I don't want to do that. If we get that Kings first round pick, that could come in handy for drafting or even just trade value in the future. If we go Darius Baisley here, could we get ourselves someone mate, with decent value, such as uh, Rudy Gay? He's got a big contract. He's definitely he was paired with a first-round pick, so that could come in handy. Pair him with Jamal Crawford. I'm just trying to see if I can get my guaranteed 690 overall here. Derek Rose is definitely someone that we could use in a trade. Because I know a lot of teams do value Derek Rose pretty highly. So if we get D Rose moving to the shooting guard, we also got, um, not Jamal Crawford, we got TJ McConnell in that deal as well. Uh, so Derek Rose with TJ and, say, this Kings first round pick. Actually, no, let's go our first round pick before it loses value. Uh, can we do this? try and get ourselves a uh, Hassan Whiteside's not that plus DeJounte Murray that's actually a decent deal because I have a feeling DeJounte if you send him move him to the shooting guard he goes up we could also move Hassan to the power forward okay okay you know what I can work with that so we've got one two three gar four five guaranteed 90s so one two three four five guaranteed 90s at the moment DeJounte, if we move to the shooting guard, what does his overall go up to? An 82. Okay, maybe we move on from DeJounte. I'm not sure about Hassan Whiteside either. Well, how long's his contract? Are we, oh, it's only a one-year deal, isn't it? DeJounte, you see, he's on a four-year deal, so he can risk that more. Um, what's Devin Booker on a four-year? And Pazingas and Booker, we've got locked up. With Zion, we've got locked up for this entire rebuild. Tyler Hero locked up and Melo locked up. So... Uh, our top five, the, our five guaranteed players, uh, locked up for the entire rebuild. Whereas Hassan Whiteside here with DeJounte Murray, eight million. Do I have any poor contracts here that I can maybe use? No, 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 I don't. I really don't. Crappers. All right, I might have to just try and trade up, get myself some, uh, because I do want that, but I do want Ben Simmons. That's the thing. I want Ben Simmons. Because I know he's guaranteed. That's the thing. Okay, hold up. Let's. Who's who's a least? Who's one of the least valuable players that I can trade for that are guaranteed nineties? De'Aaron Fox. That's not a bad shout. He's locked up for five years as well. De'Aaron Fox, I know, definitely hits a ninety uh, by season three. Uh, I know. Don't go for Clay or Westbrook. They're going to regress. Not worth it. John Morant, too much value. Probably can't do. Oh, I might actually be able to do that. You know. I'm just going to put that out there. I might actually be able to get Jar Morant. <laughs> I mean, I don't get Jar that often. Real quick, though, we did just trade for PJ Tucker and moved into the small forward uh, with those guys on mid-level exception. On the, uh, you know, mid-level exception uh, that we signed, we managed to pick up PJ Tucker. Uh, and we can get ourselves, like, a Corey Joseph. That's making too much money, bro. Um, I'm looking for someone that will have a bit of trade value and... Seth Curry, I think, is probably one of the better players that we can probably use. So Seth is locked up for three years. We don't even have to get rid of him. So Josh Hart with Ben McLemore. Both these guys are on expiring contracts. Could we maybe find someone that's making a little bit of dosh that has a bit of trade value? I did see Derek Favors, and I am going to take him. 
Uh, move him to the power forward, and he goes up to what, an 80 overall or something. Yeah, 80. Pair him with Seth Curry, and we could probably get ourselves someone quite decent. Or even just Brook Lopez, get try and get Nurkic or something like that. I think that could work out for us. Or we could get Jalen Brown. That also works for us as well, because Jalen Brown's going to be a 90 overall by the end of it too. And he's locked up for four years. So we've got, what, four years, three years, four years, sorry, four years, four years. We need to get rid of Hassan Whiteside. Three years, uh, we need to get rid of Clements. And uh, yeah, so we definitely, so we've got one, two, three, uh, we're going to get rid of Hassan Whiteside. Three, four, five, six. I'm not too sure about DeJounte. I am going to keep him. I'm going to see what I can, I've decided I'm going to keep him. Uh, I'll see if what he does. Hopefully, he does get in there, get to be that 90 overall club. If he just, if it comes out that he's probably not going to make it, then I uh, will probably be trading him away. Oh, I did say I was going to go after De'Aaron Fox because he's more guaranteed, isn't he? I might do that then. I might do that. I'll go over to, go over to De'Aaron Fox and try and get him. If I go Whiteside and Dejounte, I have a feeling that's going to go through. So can we get maybe that Phoenix first, and then I'll chuck in some seconds and. Hopefully this goes through. If not, then I'll chuck take out that Phoenix first. Yeah, all right. Maybe instead of that first, give me the future first round pick. No, give him. Don't give me a first. Okay, damn. I'm gonna have to go up a first for Fox. In regular 2K, he's so much easier to trade for. Maybe because he plays for the Kings. But like, it's the Suns though. I'm gonna have to give up two first round picks here. Damn. All right. All right. All right. So yeah, we got one, two, three, four, five six seven players at the moment uh do we have a first round pick next season we do hopefully that progresses for us uh actually who what does this king's team look like first they got bam jaron jack okay so yeah they watch well because normally these players don't do too well in 2k uh so i'm quite happy with this this pick hopefully it does get better for us it isn't protected is it no it's an unprotected first so no matter what we get it uh hopefully they do pretty bad for this first season i'm not trying to win the championship or anything like that i'm just trying to actually hold up hold hold, hold, hold your horses i can move Zion back to the four, and I can play Pazingas at the five. So, yeah, we can do that. That's our rotation. We're probably going to make playoffs with this team, even though we weren't, aren't trying. Uh, but let's see what happens. Doesn't really matter the regular season anyway. So, at the moment, we're doing well with Sacramento pick. It's currently the third. They're currently the third worst team in the West, and which makes them the fifth or sixth worst. No, fourth or fifth uh, worst team in the NBA right now. So, that's good for them. They haven't changed up their roster at all, have they? Uh, no, they have not. Their front court's still kind of good. I would like to see those two together. That would be big. That would be huge. Defensively, great. Anyway, um, so yeah, also we're at the trade deadline, so I'm going to see what teams are selling for what players. We could try and get Trey Young. Is Trey Young really worth it over De'Aaron Fox? Because they're purple. Yeah, we're going to have to re-sign him anyway, so uh, De'Aaron Fox is probably worth it a little bit more than Trey Young is anyway. Uh, Clay Thompson from the Timberwolves, don't really need him. I'm looking more towards a center here if one is available. PG, he regresses in this game. Kawhi, is it really worth that contract? Not really, because we're going to have to give up a 90 overall, at least one 90 overall to get him. We could also get the Kings, get Bam out of bio. <laughs> oh, actually, if we can try and get their best player from the Kings and make them worse, that would be crazy. If we can somehow pull this off, I don't think we can. Uh, especially without giving up these top seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, yeah, no, nah, definitely not, because look at the value down here. It's poor, man. It's real poor. Actually, let's just see. How much value does their pick have for them? Holy sugar, bro. Bro. Okay, real quick, real quick, real quick. If we can somehow... I might actually be able to pinch him that, for that first. We might actually be able to. If we can pinch that first from them... Uh, for the, for Bam, that'll be big. Uh, we'll get Justin Jackson in that first round pick. That'll be handy just because Justin Jackson's contract is quite large uh, and we can probably use that uh, to get ourselves like a player that we can trade for Bam Adebayo. And I'm pretty sure his contract extension... Really? What? Hold up. Hold, hold. I'm pretty sure his Bam's contract extension has gone through in 2K, so hopefully that works out. I'm looking for Mason Plumley. That would work for me, I guess. I'm just trying to get a player, right, that is has a little bit of value that we can chuck in that 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 the first round pick in and try and get Bam out of bio. That's what I'm trying to figure get out, figure this out, you know. I see a couple of players that I do like the sight of. Lou Will. I know his value is going to go up if we move him to the shooting guard. 
So if we chuck in Lou Will, he's got, okay, never mind. Lou Will has one and a half stars. <laughs> Lou Will has one and a half stars. That's not going to work. <laughs> imagine if this trade does work, though. Imagine, imagine, imagine. The scenes, the scenes. No, that doesn't work. All right. All right. Let's just check. Yes, his contract extension has kicked it. Holy moly. Look at the escalation on that bad boy. Rah! So, yeah, um, I don't think Lou Will's the way to go. If we get rid of Lou Will, pair him with Josh Hart. Uh, we can get Brooke Lopez. That's not. That's actually not a bad shout, you know. Brooke Lopez. We could also get Jackson Haynes. Or Terrence Ross and another valuable first-round pick. That could come in really handy, because if we can go Terrence Ross with J J Gerald Green, if we could get like, someone that we could maybe try... Actually, if we go here... Oh. Actually, yeah, if we do this trade, we might actually be able to get ourselves... Yeah, we can get ourselves Brook Lopez again, which is what I was looking for. And then if we go over to Bam on a bio here, I'll chuck you Brook Lopez. That goes... That works. I'll give you this... Rockets pick and that pick. Actually, that's a bit overkill. I want to keep that Rockets pick, actually. There we go. We got ourselves Bam out of bio. That's awesome as uh, we got Bam now. So that's what? Five. That's eight guaranteed ones in the first season. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. We're doing all right. We're doing all right. If I'm, my goal is 10 or 11. If we can get 11, I think we're safe. 10 borderline. Nine is we're probably going to lose. So yeah, we're at anything, anything else that we can do at the trade deadline? I don't think so. Yeah, we just picked up the steal there. I mean, with the team that we have, I didn't expect anyone to win MVP, but Luca does. Uh, do we get... We get <laughs> no, we don't get DeJounte. We traded him, didn't we, for De'Aaron. De DeJounte gets six, man. Good on you, buddy. And uh, we went 52 and 30, by the way. That's just in case you guys were wondering. Uh, we did end up as the two seed somehow. How many 90 overalls do we have already? We've only got the one. Zion's going to be progressing. Booker's going to be progressing. Jalen Brown's progressing. Bam and Abayo's progressing. De'Aaron Fox is progressing. Dyla Hero is an 87, and Lamelo is an 85. So both of those those guys are going to be progressing. So we're getting there. We're definitely getting there. That's what, What's this rotation looking like, by the way? Oh, baby. We got Bear, Zion coming off the bench. Bro. Bro. Yeah, you know, I, just, I don't think you guys care too much about the stats. I don't because, you know, I'm trying to get the most 90s in uh, as many as we can. So I'm just going to simulate the playoffs. I don't care if we win the championship or not. If we do, it does boost morale, which is handy. Bam wins finals MVP, which is decent because he was a mid mid uh, uh, person that we were signing, you know, mid-season. So the Kings actually got their first round pick back. Watch them get number one. They don't. They actually fall to eight. So good thing we did get rid of that. Do we have a first round pick here as the Pelicans? No, we don't. We gave it to Houston and uh, we don't have any first round picks there. So uh, Stan Van Gundy, you're nice, mate, but I'm going to go Steven Silas. Uh, assistant coach, I'm going to, I am going to try and pick up another assistant coach in Trent Peterson. That should be cool. And a trainer, we need another trainer, bro. If we can get three training camps, that's going to help us out a whole bunch. And I'm going to pick up a new assistant GM. Holy moly, his stats were bad. Holy moly. All right, new front office. We're good. So like I said, our, our team, right? Like one, two, three, four, five, six players and Tyler Hero 7. Uh, they're all locked up for contracts, all right? They're all locked up. Uh, we're going to have them for this entire rebuild. We just need to accept the team option for Tyler Hero's contract, and we're all good. I don't, you know what? Actually, I'll take him on just because he's, you know, easy, uh, easy player to have uh, on the roster. We definitely don't have any cap space, and we don't have any bird rights. Do we have anyone that we could probably sign to a mid-level exception that I would want, like a JaVel McGee? That could be big, you know. JaVel McGee's going to come in clutch with his... Uh, with his uh, um, trade value. We'll chuck in Avery Bradley because his trade value is crazy as well. Uh, and we'll also get Boban because if you move him to the power forward, his trade value is crazy with Gorky Dang as well. First things first, we're going to be trading McGee with Avery Bradley. Yes, uh, because I would like to see if I can get myself another player here that could hit 90. I would like to see... Oh, Tyrese Halliburton, maybe... Maybe, uh, uh, we'll, oh, Miles Turner, we'll pick up Miles Turner, we also get, what, a first round pick with that as well, so Miles, we can move to the power forward, his value's going to go up, and his contract is quite large, so if we go like that, pair him with, I don't know, Boban Marjanovic, we might be able to get ourselves a decent player here, like, a superstar level player here that we can probably use, like, a Buddy Heald's nice, we also get a two and a half star first round pick, bro. Then we can trade Buddy Hield for Drew Holiday in a second. 
That's handy dandy. I know he is going to be regressing in 2K, so we are going to be trading him straight away. Only because his contract, look at that contract, it's 27 million. It's going to be really handy. We can get ourselves Pascal Siakam, who I'm pretty sure hits 90 overall. I'm, the thing is, I'm not 100% sure that he does. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go Drew Holiday with Brad Watermaker and get myself Spicy P. We also get a first round pick with that deal. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine players. Okay, do we have any first... How many first round picks do we have upcoming here? We have two, three, four, five. Five first round picks and three of them are protected. Don't like that. So I might be trying to trade up here. I'm not sure. We do have ourselves three training camps here, and we're going to go untap potential to just to make sure that Pascal Siakam does hit it. We might actually have to be moving on from Siakam. We'll move it, to give it to him. We'll also give it to Tyler Hero to make sure he also hits it, and same with De'Aaron Fox uh, because at the moment they're kind of like 91 overalls in my mind. So, uh, do Pascal Siakam is an 86? We might have to move on from him here. Siakam, if we go Siakam, we actually hold up. Well, how much, because we got so many 2022 first round picks, what ones have the most value? Okay, so that Atlanta pick has three stars. And it's also top 10 protected. So that means we could probably go with Siakam with that Atlanta pick and get ourselves a Bradley Beal. He is definitely someone that's going to be hitting 90 and staying there. Yeah. I'm very okay with Bradley Beal on our team now. That's a lot safer than Siakam. I'm very much okay with that. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Actually, I'm gonna, I was going to try and get some uh, draft prospects, wasn't I? So what I'm trying to do right now is I'm trying to get like a James Wiseman, someone that I can send down in the G League, progress for this season, try and get myself that, what, 10th 90 overall. So what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to get valuable first round picks with those picks that we do not have. Like, you know, the... Um, the amount of picks that we definitely had so we just go over here to power rankings who's down the bottom of the ladder the Knicks if we can get that Knicks first round pick that would be great if they even have it I don't know who has that no they do have it it's only two st it's only two stars really who has the Clippers I'm assuming yeah um, it's the Warrior it's the Thunder I'll give you the Magic first the King or oh, not the Kings first because that's valuable I'll give you that Warriors first no, I'll give you this 76ers first. There we go. We've got that pick as well. So can we go to James Wiseman? We'll give you Matisse Thybul. Uh, that's definitely not going to go through. I'll give you that Clippers first. That Kings first. I'll give you this first. I'll give you that. That's protected backup. Never mind. I'll give you that first. And I'll give you this lottery protected first. Really? Bro. What the hell? What about... No, Anthony Edwards is listed as untouchable, isn't he? God damn it. Oh my goodness, we just got Jar Morant. You guys saw that, right? <laughs> I was not expecting that to go through. So we gave up that package of those first round picks for Jar Morant, who's another 90 overall. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We currently have 10, 90 overall. Uh, Tyler Hero's borderline. Actually, no, we can move him to the small forward, can't he? He goes up overall, doesn't he? Okay, cool, 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 cool. We're not panicking just yet. We have another season. Then yeah, we're good. We're definitely all good. This uh, starting five is looking brilliant. What we could actually do is send Tyler down the G League for another season. See, make sure that he does actually... We need to sign more players. But we could just do that. Sign and uh, bring Tyler Hero down the G League. I'm going to do that off camera. I'll see you guys at the end of the season, probably. So the regular season here, uh, Jokic wins himself MVP. We went 68-14. and 14. Uh, We do get Ja Morant as the sixth man. Yeah, because we're starting De'Aaron Fox, so hopefully his value, uh, not his value, his overall does definitely go up. We were definitely the one seed. That's dope. So let's have a look. So Ja Morant, we've got, what, five... 90s at the moment. De'Aaron Fox is going to hit a 90. Bam's going to hit a 90. Jalen Brown hopefully keeps progressing. Please keep progressing. I might have to move you. Lamelo is a 90 and uh, Tyler Hero is a 90 as well. So we've got 10 90 overalls right now. I would like to get that 11th, but we do have one more season. So in the playoffs here, hopefully, uh, you know, yeah, we win another... Oh no, we don't win another championship. The Magic do. Alright, fair enough, boys. Fair enough. Um, yeah, alright. Cool, cool, cool. Let's just go down to the lottery. I don't think we have a lottery pick here if the Pelicans do that's crazy because we did just trade them all for Ja Morant we do not do we have our first round pick we do not okay so we had a couple of second round picks we'll sign them up they could probably be trade value oh no Bradley Beal's declined I forgot to look at his contract I forgot to because I don't think we can uh, re-sign him because we're over the hard cap 
forgot about that. I might have just cocked myself here, boys. Might have. Might have full on just destroyed myself. He's not restricted either, is he? Bugger! Ah! Shit. All right. Uh, how are we going to play this then? How are we going to play this? Oh, that's bullcrap. That's bullcrap. We might just have to say goodbye to Bradley Beal and hope that we can do something about it. Brandon Ingram, I think, is more safer than uh, um, uh, Jalen Brown at the moment, so I'll take him. I'm actually proper upset with myself that I didn't check that. I'm actually upset. We have, what, four first-round picks. We might be able to pull something off. I'm just going to sim over it and hope for the... Actually, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm not doing that. I'm not stupid. I'm not dumb. I would like Bradley Bill to come back, but we can't sign anyone because it's over the hard cap, bro. Like I said, we can't sign anyone because it's over the hard cap. So, like, even if we wanted someone on the mid-level exception, actually, we could. Ooh. Um, so if you have no idea what I'm doing right now, I'm doing a lot of this off camera because it is a very boring and tedious process, but I am going to show you guys highlights of it. Um, like all I do is I get players, look for salaries, pair two guys with minimum contracts, try and get someone with like a two, two, three million dollar contract. Um, and then we could move their position, especially if they're a sensor or a shooting guard or a point guard or something that they, when their positions change, they go up over rules. I definitely trade those guys for those guys. Um, such as, we've got DeMarcus Cousins, Shake Milton, both making 14 mil. I've traded up to get DeMarcus Cousins. Uh, and I think a trade a bit like this, yes, we're losing a little bit of value. But did you see those contracts? Cody Zeller's making 10 million. Ennis Cantor's making 5.8 mil. Uh, so that means that's going to be going up in the salary difference there. So if we go over here, we should be able to get out actually no no one's coming up so sometimes it just doesn't happen and you have to chuck in a first round pick and sometimes it just doesn't work uh, because we're trying to make up for losing bradley bill i would like another you know a 90 overall so what i'm trying to do is just keep trading up uh for someone here so we might just have to go like this try and get ourselves someone a little bit different like a wendell moore who's making eight mil we also get a two two and a half star pick in from the timberwolves that's handy then we can go here with wendell moore with uh cody zeller there's 18 million dollars in cap there and we can go and get ourselves montrez harrell who's making a bit of money he can also be changed to the power forward and his value goes up so yeah this is just basically the process that i do to trade up as uh, especially in free agency it's really easy to do because you can just look once you run out of players you just go to free agency and sign more like it's not that hard to do it just takes a little bit of time a little bit of uh, uh patience and just experimentation see what you can do and we, look at this we're already up at malcolm brogdon man we're up at malcolm brogdon we could we we could almost have ourselves another player that could already be a 90 overall like we could be there in a minute like wendell carter is someone that you could go after especially after getting his contracts we can get wendell carter we can move him to the power forward he goes up to an 86 he's making 26 million uh 26 23 million and then you pair actually and then we can go like this with these guys and we can get ourselves someone making a little bit of money such as Peyton Pritchard we also get a first round pick another plus is you get plenty of first round picks from doing this as well because a lot of players teams are trying to get offload bad contracts and you just keep getting first round picks and it's so easy to then trade for more players and look at that, Hassan Whiteside, 26 million. We also got a first round pick with that as well. Uh, then we can go here, pair him with two first round picks and you could get yourself... I was hoping someone crazy, but I might have to hold off until after free agency here. I'll just sign a couple of minimum guys here as well uh, and, you know, go from there. Three training camps, we are going to untap potential and we're going to go to Bam on a bio, make sure that he tries and he goes, goes ahead and hits it. We'll go Brandon Ingram as well and we'll also go... Oh, Tyler Hero, just to, just to make sure, just to make sure. So we do have our main man, Hassan Whiteside, down here. Um, we're going to probably have to trade him with James Ennis and a first-round pick uh, to get ourselves someone else. I don't know who else we could go after here, but we're going to try. We're going to try and get someone, even though no teams are selling currently, so it's going to be a little bit difficult. We might even just hold on to Hassan and then trade him at the trade deadline. You know what? That's a decent, decent shout. So, yeah, uh, we'll go over here. We'll just sim season. Uh, we'll see you guys at the trade deadline. Here we are at the trade deadline. We're looking at selling players. Jamal Murray, I don't know if he's going to be... A, I'm looking for a guaranteed 90, who's already a 90 overall that we could trade for, like, without giving up too many assets. LeBron James. He is on a selling team in the Cleveland Cavaliers. Could we somehow make this work? I don't know if the salaries match up. We have to give up. Holy, how much money is he? He's making 40. Never mind. Maybe not. Maybe that's not going to work out for us. We're looking for someone around the 27 million mark. 
Uh, Paul George is a no. I know he's not regressing. Anthony Davis, maybe. I do think he's making a bit too much money, though. That's the thing. I think he's making too much money for me for us to get it. But we will try and get Anthony Davis. I don't know if it's going to actually work. Uh, he's on a selling team, so you never know. But salaries uh, could not match up, probably. Because, what, 26 mil? Yes, 11 mil over. So if we could somehow get a, like an 11 mil player, I don't think we can. It's going to take a while to trade up for them. So we might might not. We'll see what we can do. I'll try and get, get either LeBron or AD because they're guaranteed 90s and that's our 10th one, surely. I'm not going to be able to trade for AD or, or um, LeBron James, but we could trade Hassan Whiteside for Yusuf Nurkic, who is someone that we can move to the power forward and his value is definitely going to be over. He's not a value. His, his uh, overall is definitely over a 90. So... That could potentially work out, unless we could go like this and get someone crazy. I don't expect them to. Like 28 million, that's more, but it's not really more, you know? Like if we just stick with this trade, we could probably, we're probably decent enough. Like we got Nurkic, uh, he's definitely someone we could use. He's definitely a 90 overall, so we've surely got 10. Um, by the way, we're just casually trading our way up here through rookies. We've just got uh, Kobe White here. He's an 87 overall. If we could get like a player that we can, like on the rookie contract, that we can trade, uh, that we can trade for, then change their position to be an over a 90, that would be huge. I don't think it's possible, but it would be kind of huge. So I'm trying to get James Wiseman here, and as you can see, we traded for Grayson. Oh my god, we just did it. Holy crap. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11. Bro, we're good. We're good. We'll help simulate the rest of the season. Bro, we're good. Okay. We're at the end of the season. As you guys know, we did just trade for James Wiseman. I don't know if we have done 11 90 overalls, boys. I don't know. We also get Lamelo six man. Big ups, Lamelo. Um, we get Coach of the Year as well. I don't know how we're doing here. I don't know how we're doing. So, we've got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wiseman is only an 87. Eleven. Let's go. Let's freaking go. We got 11 90s. We got 11. Actually, if we go like this, yeah, that's definitely a 90. If we go bang, bang, yeah, he's definitely not a 90, bro. I was, maybe something crazy would happen, but we got 11. 11 90 overalls. Look at this team. What the heck? Bro. Bro. We got Tyler, we got Tyler Hero to a 92. I kind of want to play a game with this team, by the way. Look at this. It's a, this is an all-star team. It's an all-star team. Bro, just for, just for Bant... Let's just simulate the playoffs. I I, I think we're going to win the championship. Like, uh, I think it's pretty obvious we're going to be winning the championship when we have 11 90s on the team. We have 11 90 overalls. And we'll jump in with some... Actually, no, the video's been long enough. We're just probably going to win a championship. Oh, my God. We didn't win the championship. There we go. We did there. Bam wins finals MVP. But how about it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 90 overalls. I don't think I've ever done that in a 90 overall challenge. 11. 11. But uh, yeah, that's going to do it for today's video. Uh, we got 11 90 overalls. Have fun, TKE, trying to beat 11. Uh, hopefully, uh, you know, it's close. It would be cool if you do. If you get more, props to you. If you can get more than 11 90 overalls, like, props to you, mate. Props to you. <laughs> Because I personally think I smashed this out of the park. I think we've smashed this out of the park. Let me know down in the comments if we've taken the dub or an L. Uh, yeah, if you're new here from TKE's channel or watch this entire video, be sure to subscribe. That'll be absolutely amazing. Uh, we're trying to hit 3K subs, like I said at the beginning of the video, and I could really use your help. So please go down there, subscribe. While you're down there, like the video. That'll be absolutely dope. And uh, yeah, that's really going to do it. Check out TKE's channel. Link's down in the description. His video's down in the description below. So check all that stuff out. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Push!